Hey YouTube, this is a Trendy Socialite. I wanted to come and do this video really quick because I told you I would talk about my hair more specifically um, after my videos from earlier today. So essentially what this is, is my, um, I guess, semi blown out, picked out fro that I did yesterday. Yesterday I wore just this one side up and it was all kind of wild and bushy and that kind of thing. Today I decided to um, pin both sides up but it's kind of asymmetrical so this side is pinned up higher than this side. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the chunkiness, well okay let me tell you what I did. Um, this morning before I got in the shower wet my hair with my water mix um, and um, just kind of sprayed it all over. Didn't get it soaking, sopping wet, but just, you know, misting it. Then I let, you know, the water, I didn't wear a shower cap or anything or any sort of bonnet um, in the shower and just let the water and the steam kind of just, you know, add some extra moisture to it. When I got out of the shower, I, I juiced and then I think that was basically it. Oh no, um, I added some Cantu um, leave-in to it. That makes it really, that makes my hair really soft when I do it, you know, damp and or dry. And I pick and just really picked it out as much as I could. Just pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. And I actually did that when I wet it the first time before I got in the shower. I picked it out as well. Um, and then I just pinned up this side with bobby pins, pinned back that side with bobby pins, and then I started going through and really my chunkiness is no real secret. I just take a piece of hair and um, twirl it around my finger, sort of like you would do a, a coil out. And what it does is it just kind of defines that area and makes it a little bit chunkier. So that's what I did. So that's how I got this style. For those of my divas in North Carolina, there is the Natural Hair Care Show tomorrow. I should have done a, a video about it early in the week. This week has not been a good week for me at all, and I'm really pressing myself to kind of get back to my normal routine. So I'm sorry, apologize in advance for anyone that's in North Carolina. The show is tomorrow. I'll put the link down at the bottom with the details. I think it's somewhere in Raleigh Durham area. So I'm going to try to go. I will take pictures, maybe shoot a little video from there. Especially for my new subscribers who may have missed this video. On July 4th, we are encouraging all natural hair wearers to participate in Froze on the 4th. Um, and this, I guess this is sort of maybe my practice for that. Um, but essentially what Froze on the 4th is, we're just encouraging all natural hair wearers and anyone else that wants to participate to wear big hair, big fros. For those of you that are relaxed and may want to participate, you can do um, a rod set on smaller rollers and, you know, kind of pull the, pull more of the curls apart to get that um, effect. If you're transitioning, you can do um, the curly fro look, so be sure to search for that on YouTube, which is basically sort of like a real chunky two-strand twist that you can roll um, on a sponge or a satin roller. Um, Dr. what's that lady's name? Akbari or whatever her name is. She sort of came up with that little doodad ditty. Yeah, so froze on the 4th. Don't forget about it. July 4th. Um, because for the natural hair show tomorrow, you know, ugh, I gotta rock something. Even though this is kind of cute, but I don't know. I don't think it's gonna go with my my outfit tomorrow. And I sort of had this picture of what I want. If you saw my video from last Sunday when I did the um, the updo based on Miss Vaughn's updo, um, I told you in the video that I didn't like it. I didn't like the texture of it. Psych. <laughs> It grew on me for some reason. Like I went back and, and looked at the video and saw the little screenshot. I was like, uh oh, okay. And then the other thing that happened was um, that Sunday night for Monday, I did two strand twists because I said that I was going to do that and I thought that that would look better. It did not look better. Better as the um, two guys from Living Color can say, hated it. And I really did. I didn't like it at all. So tonight, um, it is. 8:41. I'm gonna pre-poo my hair, wash it, deep condition it, and do that style. I'll be up for a little while doing that. 
Um, I went to the beauty supply store to get a couple of things for that. Uh, stocking back up on my ORS replenishing conditioner. That's one of my staple products. What I use for a deep conditioner um, mix is Lustre Silk Shea Butter Cholesterol. I do use that. That's part of my deep conditioner mix. I have done a video on that. Be sure to check that out because it has um, stuff in it. Um, I bought this Elastic QP gel for the style I'm going to do tomorrow because of you know the part in the back. I don't know. I just um, Miss Vaughn's was like really shiny, and I want mine more shiny. So I'm going to put that on um, probably last thing tomorrow as I'm styling my hair so that um, it'll have that shine. Then. Let's see. Two things of Eco Style Gel, y'all. The olive oil one, which a lot of people are swearing by now. I haven't tried that one before, and just the um, the regular one. If you all don't use these, these are really really good gels. I have had no flaking, no problems, no breakage, no nothing with these gels. These are great, awesome, wonderful gels. Just some oil sheen. I'm still kind of old school. I just olive oil oil sheen it may not do anything for my hair but it makes me feel better so I use it so yeah that's what I got from the beauty supply store now my outfit for tomorrow um, in the morning I have women's fellowship at church yeah but what I want to wear to the show and for the rest of the day is a strapless jumpsuit that I got from Newport News and I showed that to you in my video so I was like yeah my church is progressive and all, but they ain't that progressive. <laughs> so, what I had to do was think of something that I could throw on on top of the strapless jumper um, to be able to wear to church tomorrow. Didn't want to do like a heavy jean jacket because it's like a thousand degrees here. So, um, I was walking through JCPenney's yesterday, as a matter of fact, and I saw these little sweaters and I was like, oh, that's cute. Um, so, I was like, when I was thinking about what I could wear with it, I was like, oh, this is really cute and lightweight and simple to throw on. And so I bought one. And this is a color. It's sort of a wine color. And it's sleeveless, so that'll be good. Or maybe it's a little cap sleeve. And it's, it has a little um, tie down here at the bottom can see and <clears throat> it's just open so like my strapless thing will you know come like right here or whatever and what I'm gonna do is on top of it because there is a um, like a cinched elastic waistline in the uh, jumper uh, jumpsuit um, and I was gonna wear a belt with it anyway but since I'm wearing this sweater on top of it at least for church I'm just gonna put the belt on top of the sweater so I went to Body Central. I call it the body shop. That's what it used to be. And I bought a couple of belts. And I'm going to rock with it. Um, it'll be one or the other. This one is a dark chocolate brown. Um, they were like $9 a piece. Um, did I tell you I got that sweater from JCPenney's? I did. It was half off. They're having a you know their end of the year sales or whatever. And then just this kind of tobacco brown. Um, belt so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna wear tomorrow maybe the darker one and then I needed some extra jewelry to wear because of this new sweater I had already bought some necklaces and stuff anyway um, so I already bought some stuff to go with it but because of the sweater and the added color um, I needed to get something that will kind of blend with that so at the same place by Central I bought these earrings and two of these necklaces. They're not supposed to be connected like that. Something wrong. They're tangled up. Anyway, you get the basic idea. So that picks up the wine, the darker color in that sweater and adds a little blingage to my neckline. Okay, so yeah, that is it. That is what I have gotten today and I am probably, I don't think I'm going to redo that video. I'm talking too much. My time is up. Okay, I love you all. Be blessed. Bye.